Good morning, siblings, and welcome back to my channel. Today is the last video that I will be posting of 2019, which is so crazy to say. Like, what? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna be 19 next year. Dad's gonna be 20. We're gonna be married. What? Life is crazy, honestly. <laughs> um, I am gonna be vlogging New Year's Eve and doing that whole shebang, but obviously I won't post that until the new year. So this is the last video of this year of this decade, actually. I've kind of decided that I hate doing just sit down videos because I hate editing them, which probably means that I shouldn't film them because if I'm not happy editing them, then who's gonna be happy watching them? From now on, even if I have a like sit down video idea, I'm gonna like vlog like most of it and then do the part that I need to sitting down. So yeah, today me and Down are gonna be sharing with you guys our 2020 goals. We're gonna be making our goals, talking about different like categories of goals, all that. I don't even know where Dallin is. Dallin? He's playing with the cats. <laughs> First, we're gonna eat breakfast and then I'm gonna go over to Dallin's house. Brittany's gonna practice my makeup for my wedding. And then we're going to get our marriage license today. Then we're gonna kind of sit down and talk about our 2020 goals cause we'll be married and we gotta do it as a couple. Mm -hmm. So welcome to our channel. Oh, I forgot to say that if you're new, subscribe. That'd be great. Okay, now let's get started. Dallin is the best, and he made me an omelet while I was showering and getting ready. Get you a fiance who makes you food, because you take forever to get ready. So we're just finishing up putting away some laundry, and Zora's so cute. She was just cuddling in my, like, fresh out of the dryer clothes. We destroyed her home. I know, she was, like, sitting in a pile. <laughs> She's so confused. I didn't even realize Ace is in here. Aw, so cute. So Our cute. little kids. Why isn't she getting out of it? <laughs> she's just sitting there. Does she think she's dead? Mm, she's probably just confused. Wait, oh. I think she's comfy. She's oh. chilling. She's, she's so comfy. I feel so weird because I just did so much laundry and I like never do laundry. I should do it more often. New Year's resolution right there. But I have no dirty clothes. Like what? Is this a thing? Do most people usually feel like this? I'm like a new person right now. Now we are on our way to Dallin's house. Brittany's gonna do my makeup because I wanted to practice it for my wedding, which is in 18 days. <laughs> what? <laughs> then I got an Amazon package right before we left and I got these new blue light glasses because the ones that I had were pretty cheap and these feel a lot better. So I like these a lot. And I got a new backpack. That one backpack I've been using is literally from when I was a freshman in high school. I got it. So it's nice to have a new one, and it's like the kind where you can hold it as a purse or a backpack, which I find really convenient, and there's like so many pockets in it. So I love it already. Update, we got to Dallin's house and then realized that the place will close before we could get there. So we're gonna go get our marriage license first, and then I'll go get my makeup done, and then we can talk about our 2020 goals. Yay. We are right now at the office wherever anyway we got our marriage license yeah <laughs> um yeah that's pretty much all i have to say uh this is awkward Here's this building's this. really pretty though yeah we can take the stairs <laughs> okay literally last week it was like summer in missouri and now it's like winter i'm not enjoying it yeah what's the deal <sighs> weather yeah just either be warm or cold and yeah. if you're gonna be cold snow then otherwise i could care less <laughs> Man, I just don't understand how people spend thousands of dollars getting married. Like, it literally costs $60 to get a marriage license. Like, I'm good. We're married, right? Yeah, we're married. Yeah, there's literally nothing else you need. Not a dress or a venue or, like, food or any of that. Right? Brittany just did my makeup. Here's the reveal. Aww. <laughs> Ooh, I look... So good. So I went and got samples at Sephora to match my skin tone, like foundation and concealer, and they matched it like perfect. And it, fa it feels like really light. Like usually makeup feels so heavy on me, but it feels great. The eyes pop in. The light isn't too good, but when the light's good, my eyes look like green, but it's just like dark now, so. <laughs> but I love it. Brittany did such a good job. Eyebrows look good, highlight, pop in, just the whole shebang. I look so good i'm so excited for the wedding and then once i have all my hair done and it's not oily then i'll look even better <laughs> but yay oh and i am gonna wear fake eyelashes but i just didn't want to put them on because it's already five o'clock and i'm just like practicing so i was like not worth the trouble but i do have fake ones here's a nice little up close look okay welcome to the session of our video so we are going to be setting our 2020 goals as a couple because we're going to be married because we are a couple like three weeks that's so crazy 
Also, I added eyelashes and this looks way better. So we decided that the way we're gonna do our goals, we're just gonna kind of write down the basics of the goals. And then later, like off camera, we can go more into depth about like steps we're gonna take and stuff. Oh yeah. But these are our 2020 goals and we have five different topics. If we think of more, we'll add more. Marriage, fitness, work, travel, and mind. Wait, before we do that, you guys wanna see this flex? What kind of accent color we want? Mm, maybe blue. Blue? Oh, Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Should we match my makeup? Oh, Ooh. make your makeup pop. Ooh. Oh, wait, what your about- shirt? Oh, wait. Okay, so our marriage goals- Is to get married. Get married. <laughs> no, I was thinking like a date night once a week, which we try to do anyway, yeah. but I just want to keep going because that just really helps bond. And, and especially stuff. if we like work out that whole week, then we get oh, to treat yeah. ourselves. We get to go somewhere like maybe nice, like, Wing stop. Cry. Oh, okay, Google. And the timer's done. I gotta flip the We're chicken. Dinner. I was thinking that we could put like share chores evenly. Yes. Because like you do the dishes, the so I can clean the cat litter. Which we already do a really good job of this. Like if someone's busy, the other one does like, you know. The something that needs yeah, to get done. Exactly. For the most part. To watch oh. shows together and not go past without the other one. That is, no, I can't do it. Sydney? Only with the show we start together. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Like, if we start a show together, we are not allowed to watch it without the other one. Shows started together. Okay, wait, I had an actually, oh. Always, we should set a goal to like always be willing to listen to the other side of the story. Mm -hmm. So that helps with arguments. And these are like trying to be more specific goals. Like obviously we're gonna have goals to like have good communication and be honest yeah. and truthful. But that's just kind of like a given for us. So we're trying to dig more deep and think deep about deep. like goals we could actually like physically work on. Okay, should we move on to fitness for now? Yeah, and then I, more I don't know what to okay, do. Okay, so fitness, right now we're doing like pretty good. Obviously we took it like a week off for Christmas. So let's set a goal to try to work out at least three times a week. Yeah. That's I would a good say goal. like, oh, let's do four or five, but you gotta be realistic. And some weeks we are so busy. Like yeah. some weeks we work out six days a week, but then other weeks it's like three days. So if we can always try to do three days, we'll be happier. Should we set a goal that's like eat clean like 70% of the time? How should we set that? Because obviously we wanna be able to eat clean, but we also like, like our treats. So I feel like saying I feel like, like 80, 70. 20 kind of high. That's what they say to do. But 75, like, 25. Okay. How about that? We'll compromise. 75% healthy food. And I'm sure, I, the reason I kind of want to film this is so you guys have ideas. Because like you can't just say, okay, I'm going to work out every day. If you That's never not work out. And you have to be realistic or it won't get done. Now, going above and beyond your goals would be great. If you yeah. set a goal for three days a week and you do five days a week, go you. But if you set a goal for five days and you only do three, you'll be sad. So, yeah. Okay, uh, what else about fitness? Sounds great to Okay, me, cool, we'll move yeah. on. All right. all right, next. Work, money, all that. Obviously, first year of marriage, it'd be nice to uh, make some cash. <laughs> some cash flow? Sell everything on Facebook Live. <laughs> Can I put like clean out house every couple months? Oh, yes, I Oh, also I with work, work, we also are kind of thinking like chores too, like that kind of stuff. So honestly, I should write that. So clean out the house like every three months. Um, should we set a goal for laundry? Cause I'm bad at it. You're very bad at it. Well, should for we me, I it? do laundry every like two weeks. So we try to do laundry like every week. Sure. Cause we all have a lot of clothes once both of us are in here. What kind of goal do you want to set for work? I know you're learning to code. Do you want to keep going with that? Yeah, Should I write like the code goal. like four times a week? Yeah, probably something like okay. that. And I can help you, like, motivate you, you know? And then, should I put, should I write post three times a week? Because that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, I that's mean, you gotta goal. write it down I mean, so yeah. you can get there, you know? Oh, I just thought of such a good goal. What if we try yeah. to design the best merch we've ever made? Oh, did, did we already do that? Oh, did we? Hmm. hmm. Isn't it dropping in, like, a few days? I think... So, mm. Mm. isn't the video that we make about you moving in gonna be the one where we launch the merch mm. next week? Really? I mean, I, I, I mean, I don't wait, know. Isn't the merch signifying a whole new chapter in our lives, and we're giving them a completely new name? Oh, we are. Isn't it like the nicest, softest, most comfortable, and dopest merch we've ever had? That's great for both genders. Yes. I'm just saying, just, we can't I mean, already maybe, did that goal. Just, yeah. Stay tuned. <laughs>
I Should mean, we do like brainstorm ideas once a week? Sure. Because I feel like the struggle with posting is not knowing what to post. Okay, that's good there. Okay, our travel goals. Obviously, first year marriage, the first couple years before you have kids, you want to be able to do all the traveling you want. So I kind of want to have a goal to like go on road trips a lot, even if yeah. it's just like down to Branson or like Arkansas. Because we'll be married, like we can just go. Like we can let's do just like go want. camping, you know? Once a month? Should we? Once. Oh, I was thinking well, that's a little much because we get really busy. Maybe like every quarter. Every quarter? Yeah. Right. Oh, I kind of like if we put like visit my mom every summer because then that's like one that's week fun. we could spend at the beach every summer. Go to Canada. Ooh, eventually. Yes. I don't know if that'll happen this year though. Yeah. So, so maybe it's, it, Yeah, okay. How about start planning to go to camp? It's pretty solid for now. Yeah. Should we try to do like, should we put like, going to like two trips a year that's just us? Oh yeah. Because like Joey, be I'm visiting cool. my mom and we'll probably go to the beach with your family. But if we tried to go on like two solid trips, just us. I like that. So we gotta do our work goals so we can do our travel goals. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm doing here? Okay, mine. This is a whole page because I know it's gonna be like, the one that we really need the most. Meditate for an hour. Because I want 2020 to be the year that I'm just like positive. I don't have mental breakdowns all the time. Yes. Granted, I've been planning a wedding. Full relaxation days, like once every two weeks. Like yeah. where we just do nothing. That sounds that's, great. That's really good for the mind. Just relax. Mm -hmm. We should try to start meditating. Really? I'm so bad at that. I know, you're too ADHD. But it's great for you. We can start with 10 seconds a day. How about we start trying to listen to more podcasts so we can get smarter. I we like don't like to read smart. books, but we're down for podcasts. Right. I just thought of one that's good. It would be good for mine, but it goes under marriage is like try to give each other more affirmations every day. I mean, we already do it a lot. That's like, hey, you're like, cute. Hey, I yeah, love you. Yeah, like, I love you so much. Like telling reasons why we love each other and stuff. All right. Yes, organization. Okay. Whatever things are so, organized. So try to be organized because that's when chaos happens. Oh yeah. Okay. Fair enough. How about we put like get eight hours of sleep every night? Because okay. if I don't that's get good. a good amount of sleep, should I put seven? At least seven. At least seven. Because some nights you can't really get. Eight. And maximum like nine. There's no. Oh yeah. Yeah, can't go past that. I literally wrote at least seven, no more than nine sleeps. No more than nine sleep. It's like a <laughs> unit of measurement. Every sleeps. hour is one seven sleep. sleeps. So, if you sleep seven hours, it's seven sleeps. <laughs> Honestly, I like the idea of making our bed every morning because that always makes me feel like a positive day. Yeah, so good. Okay, well I think that's gonna be the end as far as our goal setting. We kind of set a lot of goals. Like, look how many goals we set. It's like, at so least goals. three goals At right least there. three, probably more. <laughs> but, you know, a year is a long time, plus we're starting our lives together, so it's good to set base rules. Rules, I meant goals. Rules, you have to do this, Sydney. <laughs> so that we can have a good, successful, happy year. Woo! Yay! Okay, anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and maybe this motivated you to go set some goals. But once again, make sure you set goals that you know you can achieve. But also, yes. you don't want to set them too low. So, just a good mediocre. It's Hard nice, to achieve, nice push. but not impossible. Yes. So, we love you guys. And we can't wait for this next year. And we will literally see you next year, next Aww. decade. <laughs> that joke that everyone always says. Hopefully you guys it's had a great a, 2019. A, yes, it's been a great decade. Can't wait for the 20s. We hope to grow with you. And if you're new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We will see you in 2020, Bye. woo!